today I will be doing something that I have not done in quite a long time. And that is a makeup tutorial. I think the last time I made a makeup video was about two years ago. And I would say since then, my techniques and just what I like in terms of my own makeup have definitely changed. But I would say that my current makeup style is heavily influenced by a lot of the girls I follow on Xiaohongshu and also just current Douyin makeup trends. Currently on Xiaohongshu, there's this really popular like eye makeup style and it's this half cut crease and it's glittery and like also soft and I don't know, I just think it's so pretty. For me, I really love going on Xiaohongshu for makeup inspiration because it's nice to see like other people with my same eye shape because I feel like a lot of western makeup styles don't really suit my features. So it's just nice to be able to find some inspiration from people who look like me. But enough of me talking, well, let's get on with the makeup tutorial. First things first, I gotta start off with a moisturizer because I like to make sure that my skin is nice and prepped and also hydrated before I actually start doing my base. I love using serums for primers because I find that they give the perfect amount of tackiness for my base to go on and also they really do help with that glowy skin look. Then I spray my face with a whole lot of setting spray because I find that this really helps with making my foundation last longer. And for foundation, I like to mix it with a little bit of serum as well because I find that that also helps with achieving the glowy skin effect and I think it just helps my foundation look a bit more like my actual skin, if that makes sense. I like to put my foundation on using a makeup spatula and I think this is so fun to do because it feels like I'm putting paint on a canvas. Personally, I love those videos where they use a little spatula to paint. I think they're so satisfying and this is exactly what it feels like. But I find that using a spatula really helps because it's very good for getting a thin, even layer across my face. And to blend it all out, I use a small cushion. And then I just repeat the same process on the other side of my face. This is one of my favorite makeup purchases ever, and I think it just definitely makes my face look a lot better than before. So I definitely do recommend investing in a little makeup spatula. I usually like to do two layers of foundation using the makeup spatula. I think it just helps with really evening out my skin tone. But honestly, with the makeup spatula, we don't really need to pump out too much foundation. I kind of did a little too much because I forgot that when I mix it with the serum, it does double it. It definitely helps you save more product and get more use of your foundation. After blending everything out, I like to use whatever is left over to go over my nose area and my forehead. For the nose area, I find that when I put on too much foundation, it makes it look really cakey and my nose is also oily. So it looks a little disastrous after a while. And then afterwards, I like to use a concealer. I generally use a color that is pretty light in order to bring some more brightness and dimension back into my face. And I think it is definitely one of my favorite makeup products. It has more of a pinkish undertone and it really helps with brightening my dark under eye bags. I like to bring whatever is left over on the sponge over to my nose area and that'll help with contouring later on. Before I finish up the base, I like to prime my eyelids as well, and I use this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I used to just use concealer to prime my eyelids, but honestly, I think I prefer using an actual eyeshadow primer because I think it does make a difference. And then I just set it with some light colored eyeshadow. After setting my eyes, I like to set my face using a loose powder, and I use a little sponge to do that. And what I do is I press it into my face like so, and then I just tap it out. I concentrate the powder around the oiliest part of my face, and for me, that is the area around my nose. And now onto blush. I like to use two different colored blushes. First, I use this lilac color in order to brighten up my face. I learned this trick on Xiaohongshu, and what this is supposed to do is that it helps to brighten your face up a bit more, and how I use it is I like to place it under my eye bag area, and I bring it in to the sides of my nose. But for my second blush, I like to use a rosy pink color and I start by placing it pretty high directly underneath my eyes basically and I work from the outside of my face into the inside part and I try to blend that in with the lilac blush I placed earlier. Moving on to contour, I like to mix the outer two shades from this palette because I just find that the middle one is a bit too warm for my liking. And using an angled brush, I start with the tip of my nose and I find that using an angled brush is very good at really just getting into those curves of your nose. When I do my nose contour, I like to really define the top area that's underneath my eyebrow. Using a half circular motion, I apply the most pressure 
right underneath my eyebrow so that most of the pigment is right under my eyebrow and then towards the end I kind of just apply less pressure and feather it out. The next part of my nose I like to really define is the bottom part. I tend to just leave the middle nose bridge area alone because I find that that looks a bit too harsh. Using a loose setting powder, I like to clean up my contour. I place the powder around the bottom area of my nose and then I fan it out a bit. The stuff just really helps with adding more dimension back into my nose and then I also like to highlight the inner corner of my eye. This helps to add more dimension back into the top part of my contour. And after finishing my base, I put on a whole lot of setting spray to really make sure my makeup stays. Moving on to the eyes, since I'm doing a more pink look, I like to use blush as a transition shade. I use this fluffy larger brush in order to put on the transition shade because I find that this type of brush is really good for really diffusing the eyeshadow and just creating that more blended look. I also like to take the transition shade pretty high up on my lid and I also bring the transition shade into the inner part of my eye and into my nose contour. I like to do this because I find that it helps create a more cohesive look overall and I like to wing out the transition shade on the outer part of my lid as well. I forgot to do my eyebrows before I started doing my eyeshadow, but all I do for eyebrows is I extend the tails of my eyebrows so that they're a bit longer and then I just fill them in and clean them up with concealer. Using this mauve shade, I deepen the outer parts of my crease and I like to concentrate the pigment around the outer parts of my eyes first by patting it in and then I blend it using a light hand and I blend upwards and around the outer parts of my eye. I mostly concentrate this shade around the outer parts and then using whatever is left I blend it towards the inner half of my eye and into my nose contour once again. And using the same brush I was using for the transition shade, I'm blending out the outer parts of this eyeshadow in order to make it look a bit softer and less harsh. I repeat the same process on the other eye and I always recommend going in with a lighter hand at first and just building up the pigment little by little. Whenever I pack on too much eyeshadow at once, it can be very annoying to blend out, so always just start off small. I first map out how high I want to cut the crease by putting a little bit of concealer on the center of my eye and I recommend doing this just so you have a helpful guideline to follow. And for me, I like to put my concealer pretty high because I do have hooded eyes and I have what's called epicantic folds, so if I don't put the concealer high enough, you can't really tell that I am even doing a cut crease. This is another hack I learned from Xiao Fu, but I drag the concealer above the inner corner of my eye just so that it creates a more open look because I find that whenever I just drag it directly into the inner corner, it closes off my eyes. Using the same mauve eyeshadow as before, I'm just putting it on the outer parts of my lid because I feel like with the concealer, I kind of did lose a bit of color around that area and I also like to redefine the part that's near my nose contour. And I'm blending the eyeshadow at an angle, so I'm bringing it to the inner part of my eye diagonally and then winging it out. And using a very small dense brush, I like to really emphasize the upper part of the cut crease. And of course, I gotta add some sparkle, so I'm using this loose glitter shade and for Chinese inspired makeup looks, I highly, highly, highly recommend not using straight up metallic eyeshadow in order to add that bit of sparkle because from my personal experience, I just find that it looks a bit too harsh. And for the glitter, I like to concentrate it towards the upper half of my lid and then I blend it out very gently with my finger. I like to slowly build up the intensity of the glitter as well, so I'll start off with one layer and then I'll add more layers and more layers because I just really love adding glitter to any eye makeup look. And this step is optional, but I think it really helps make the look pop. What I like to do is I use a liquid glitter to draw a line around the top of the part where I put concealer. I don't know what it is about doing this, but I just feel like it makes the eye makeup look so much prettier. And I also might be slightly biased because I do love any form of glittery eyeshadow. Using another glittery shade, I like to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and I adore the slight hint of purple in the shimmer because I think it juxtaposes so well with how pink the rest of the look is. Using a combination of mauve and brown, I like to define my lower lash line with a small angled lip brush. I definitely prefer using angled lip brushes over just regular eyeliner brushes because I find that normal eyeliner brushes are a little bit too big and they don't allow me to get as precise as I want with my eye makeup. I first drag the brush along the outer corner of my eye and then I bring it in with less pressure. And using this nudish pink eyeliner, it does look a little bit coral on camera, but I swear it's more nude in real life. I take it along the inner corners of my eyes and I like to accentuate my inner corners as well. And then I drag it towards 
the middle of my eye very slightly. I'm applying the most pressure along the inner corner of my eye to really build up the pigment, but towards the middle part, I like to make it fade out more. And moving on to eyeliner, this is actually not an eyeliner, it is an eyebrow pin from NYX. I love using this as eyeliner because the brush tip is just so precise and it's just so easy to use. I don't know if it's just me, but I find that the first eye I do my eyeliner on always looks better than the second one. But anyways, while the eyeliner is still drying, I take that same angle lip brush from before and I use this dark brown shade to diffuse the eyeliner and give it more of a smudged, blended look. I want the bottom part of the eyeliner to be very defined still, but the top part to be more smoked out. I use a bullet brush to further blend out the eyeshadow I placed on top and I use whatever is left over on that brush along my lash line. Doing eyeliner on the second eye is always such a struggle and I always have to just check back and forth to see if they're even. Here's me doing my eyeliner on the second eye and I'm once again smudging it out. I mostly concentrate the brown eyeshadow along the middle part of my eyeliner and then I blend it inwards and outwards. And now it's time to add on some egg yolk and what I like to do is I use this mauve shade as a transition color almost and I like to really concentrate the eyeshadow along the middle parts of my eye and then I blend it out towards both corners. This helps to create the most natural looking egg yolk cell and you don't want to just drag the brush along your egg yolk cell because that's going to look a little bit too wonky. But if it's necessary, I also like to redefine the outer corners a bit, but I usually just leave the inner corners alone. And obviously, I gotta add some glitter, so I'm using that same loose glitter shade from earlier and I'm concentrating the color around the middle and then I am blending it out with my finger. And once again, I like to build up the glitter instead of just adding on a lot at once. And using whatever is left over on that brush and sort of glitter, I use it to highlight my nose. I went back in and added some more glitter because I just felt like this look needed it. Once again, I'm concentrating the glitter on the upper half of my lid and dragging it down with my finger. But moving on, I like to draw on eyelashes because I don't really have lower eyelashes, so I don't put mascara there. I use a flicking motion and I also curve the lashes a bit so they're not just directly straight. And I'm using that same eyebrow pin from earlier because the brush tip is really fine, so it's perfect for drawing on eyelashes. Definitely also need to be very light-handed when you draw on lower eyelashes and you can always build up how thick want the lower lashes to be, but I do still recommend starting off with the light hand just so that you have a bit more control. Just like doing my eyeliner, I also struggle with trying to match the lower eyelashes on the other eye. And afterwards, I curl my eyelashes so that they'll actually show up when I put on mascara. I start with really getting down into the roots of my lashes using the mascara wand, and then I shimmy it upwards and also kind of just flick it up. When it comes to mascaras, I really like Korean brands or Japanese brands because I feel like their formulas work the best for my eyelashes and they really do help hold the curl for a very long time. But my mascara doesn't need to look perfect because I do put on fake eyelashes. These are my current favorite lashes. They're from Amazon and my favorite part about them is that they are very spiky. Because they have a more separated look, they really help with the cartoony manhua lashes that are very popular right now. Then I tight line my eyes with a dark brown eyeliner because I think it just really helps with blending in the lashes. And here is the finished eye look. I'm so obsessed with the glitter. I feel like a pretty sparkly 90s anime gal. Lastly, for the lips, I'm starting off with a lip tint and I prefer lip tints with more hydrating formulas because matte lip tints just dry on my lips too much. I first place the lip tint along the center of my mouth and then I blend it out and then I like to contour my lips with it. For the top lip, I like to draw these lines and then I blend them out with my finger and I love doing this because I find that it just helps make my lips look more plump. Then I put a little bit of the lip tint on my cupid's bow and then I blend that out using my finger as well. For my bottom lip, I just put the lip tint on the bottom part of my mouth and I blend that out with my finger once again. And then to top it all off, I like to add some lip gloss to really highlight the shape of my lips. I mostly focus the lip gloss on the center of my lips and after that, the look is all done. And here is the finished look. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part is because I would love to know. Alrighty, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were able to get some inspiration for your own makeup and yeah, I just hope this was a helpful video. Also, please let me know what some of your favorite makeup trends or makeup styles are in the comments down below because I'm always trying to find new looks to test out and I don't know, I just think makeup is very fun and a very nice, enjoyable creative activity. But thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>